What's up YouTube? You guys can see what I got going on behind me here today. So the other day I was sitting at home, I was editing a YouTube video and my phone vibrated. So I picked up my phone and I saw that I got a direct message from someone on Instagram. Um, and basically they're like, hey, you know, I have a C8 Z06. I noticed that you're in the area, blah, blah, blah. Would you want to do a video with my car? Of course I want to do a video with a C8 Z06. So first things first, I wanted to extend a huge thank you to Richard for allowing me to do a video with his C8 Z06 convertible today. If you guys want to follow him on Instagram, I'll put his Instagram on screen right now. It's at Dix Z06. He has a really, really nice spec. So basically in today's video, I want to walk you guys around this particular C8 Z06. I want to show you guys the different options that this one has uh, because this one's optioned very, very nicely. But also I wanted to show you guys that this is actually a relatively practical car and you could use it every day but it's also you know a track weapon and a back roads carver so it's pretty much an overall awesome vehicle which is what I want to highlight and show you guys here in today's video so without further ado let's get into it so in the first few minutes of this video, I'm gonna nerd out, I'm gonna go over a couple of the different options that this one has, uh, as well as just my thoughts and opinions on not only the options, but just the Z06 as a whole. So if you guys wanna skip over this part of the video, I totally understand, but it is pretty cool to see all the ins and outs and intricacies of the Z06. So let's just get right into the video, and I got a couple notes of things I wanted to highlight with this particular Z06. So the Z06, as a base model, as a coupe, starts at $106,695. As you guys can see, this one is not a coupe, this is a convertible. So tack on an additional 7,500 bucks if you guys wanna get the convertible. So the starting price now, as a base model convertible, is $114,195. Then from there, you have three different trim levels that you guys can choose from on the Z06. You have the 1LZ, the 2LZ, and the 3LZ, which we have here today. So for the 3LZ, tack on an additional 6,350 bucks. So now we are rounded up to about $120,500. In $45. Now, some of you guys may be wondering what you get with the 3LZ, and I'm just gonna highlight a couple of the different things. So you do get the GT2 seats as standard, as well as a head-up display, a Bose sound system, and the performance data recorder, as well as all the other things that come with it. So basically, 3LZ, think of it, you get all the goodies, pretty much. This particular one has also been optioned with the $9,995 carbon flash painted carbon fiber wheels. And I'm not sure how well these wheels are gonna pick up on the GoPro, but basically, these wheels are legitimate carbon fiber. However, they're a little bit cheaper than the carbon fiber wheels with the you know show the visible weave because the visible weave is harder to do um, than just you know basic carbon fiber. So the weave under this paint is probably not the greatest, but it's still carbon fiber. It's still lightweight. Um, so it's basically the same thing. It's just painted in carbon flash. This one also has red brake calipers for an additional option. Taking a step back. Obviously, you guys can see this does have the Z07 wing. So this does have the $8,995 Z07 performance package, which I'm going to highlight just a couple of the things that you guys get with the Z07 performance package. Obviously, you get that big, beautiful wing in the back that signifies that this is a Z07. As well as you get magnetic ride control, you get the Brembo carbon ceramic brakes and these massive Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires, uh, which basically Michelin sells you a bald tire from factory. I mean, there is like very, very little tread, uh, both on the front and those rear tires. You guys can see they're basically racing slicks, um, but that's what you want on a vehicle that's gonna handle insanely well. Now you do get 20 inch wheels in the front. You get 21 inch wheels in the back, basically like at every other Corvette. They're pretty much all staggered, but look at that side profile. This thing looks so, so sweet. Now, one thing I wanted to say is that you could mistake this for a C8, um, unless you guys know that this has the big wing. So basically, if you guys are getting a Z06, do you guys want the sleeper look of it or do you guys want the in-your-face look kind of like we have here today? But this is kind of like an in-your-face sleeper look mix, if that makes sense. So if you guys do not get the Z07 performance package, you don't get that big wing in the back. And that is why I think you could, you know, mistake this for a base model C8 because that big wing basically signifies that it's a Z06. You know what I mean? Chevrolet released this car with the big wing, you know, kind of as an in-your-face option. So that is why I kind of think that 
you could mistake this if you didn't know much about cars for just you know a regular c8 obviously this has the z07 performance package you can see those canards so it has a very aggressive look to it but to certain people they're gonna be like you know is what kind of corvette is that is that the base model or is that the z06 now this particular z06 again has the z07 performance package so i don't think it would be quite as easy easy to mistake this for a base model i mean you guys can see all the aggressive lines that big wing in the back and obviously when you walk to the back end of the z06 you get the center exit exhaust whereas on the base model uh, if you guys you know know anything about the base model you get two exhaust tips on that side two exhaust tips on this side and they're kind of like a squareular exhaust tip they look terrible but on the Z06, they remedied that and it looks so, so sick with that quad tip center exit exhaust. It looks phenomenal, it sounds phenomenal, and those black exhaust tips are actually a $395 option. Um, so I'll give you guys a look. So you spend 395 bucks, obviously you guys can see that super aggressive Z07 wing. Now one thing that's kind of funny is that the owner optioned this particular vehicle with the Jake C8R graphics, but the owner removed them. So he optioned them, but they are removed other than I believe that, I don't know. I think that comes with the Jake C8R uh, option, but you guys can see this thing looks absolutely sweet. This also has the carbon flash painted ground effects. So you guys can get these ground effects here um, in visible carbon fiber. It's just an additional cost but it still looks super aggressive and super sweet here, even with the carbon flash paint. Now, this one also has the optional $2,595 front end lift. However, the owner said he has used the front end lift like one time, because really the reality of it is it's high enough off the ground as it sits. It doesn't look like it's a four by four, uh, but it's kind of the perfect height off of the ground for a sports car like this that you, you know, potentially could daily drive a couple other things i wanted to mention this one does have the 500 dollars competition seats it has the adrenaline red interior and then it has the 1500 dollars carbon fiber interior trim pieces so you guys can see the adrenaline red really matches the carbon matrix paint very very nice i think that's it's the ceramic matrix gray metallic paint which honestly looks fantastic and it's very very it's easier to keep clean than like a black but it matches to the adrenaline red interior very very nicely i haven't seen an adrenaline red interior z06 yet really on the internet at all but you guys can see you get some beautiful like stitching on the door panel this whole door panel with the 3lz is all leather wrapped it looks phenomenal you guys can see the bose sound system also looks really good this is that 1500 or part of the 1500 dollar carbon fiber interior trim so you get carbon fiber trim here obviously you get carbon fiber trim on the top and the bottom of the steering wheel itself you get carbon trim um, on your dash i'm gonna step in that's the window sticker we might go over that in a minute but this is what the interior looks like on the z06 again it is all leather wrapped up top here you get more of that adrenaline red except up here it is micro suede so basically from here up is all that adrenaline red suede this is a view from my uh, point of view you guys can see more carbon fiber just like the base c8 you get this same stack of um, temperature controls for the driver and the passenger so it's very similar to that obviously you guys can see red accent colored stitching on the steering wheel itself i wanted to show you guys the 500 dollars competition seats again the z06 does or 3lz does come standard with the gt2 seats this one has the competition seats. Now, if you guys are on the heavier side, these seats are not gonna be comfortable for you. But if you're like me, you're smaller, um, these seats are perfect. These are definitely the seats that I would option for on my own Z06 because they hold you in place. They're super snug, but they're also super, super comfortable as well. And they also just look absolutely sick. Um, so these seats are a must if I was gonna option this Z06. Now, I'm sure you guys wanna see what this looks like when you open up the top. Um, so I will show you guys that now. So I'm gonna fire her up. This thing has a ultra aggressive startup. You guys will see what I'm talking about here in a second. Listen. So it's like, oh, in your face. But uh, I'll show you guys the button to open up the top, which is over here. So basically, just like you're gonna roll a window down, push down on this, and the top will to start opening. So you guys can see top not secure. I'll show you guys a view of it. So 
So obviously with the uh, convertible top, it is gonna be more or heavier than the coupe. So if it was me, I'd probably get the coupe just because you still get that freedom top. But one thing that I love about the convertible is this sliding or this uh, window right here that you can control right here. It'll go up and it'll go down. Just like what you'd find on like a Lamborghini Huracan Spider, it goes up, it goes down, but it only goes down, that's as far, or that's as far as it goes down. And one thing that's really cool, and I'm not sure if the GoPro will pick it up, but if you can read right here on the like mirror right about there, it says Corvette 70, and it says 1953 to 2023. Uh, it's about right there. So that is really, really cool. Um, and I can show you guys that, but in the mirror, obviously uh, you can read it better because it's flipped so you can read it in the mirror. So it's really, really cool. Obviously you get the visor, you get a universal garage door opener. And if you guys have seen any C8 reviews, this is basically the same thing as a uh, C8, same with this infotainment screen, but you do have your drive mode selector. So let's go into our different drive modes. So you have my mode, take a listen to the exhaust note between the different uh, modes that I switch in between. I'm gonna be quiet, but you guys can watch the screen change and listen to the exhaust note carefully. So obviously the screen changes accordingly, but the engine sound changes accordingly. Listen again, this is track mode. Now this is sport. This is tour. So it gets quieter. Obviously, if this was my car, we're gonna be driving around in sport or track mode all the time. You know, I feel like I've talked enough, but I do wanna go over the window sticker a little bit. So I'll do that now. You guys can take a look at this particular uh, MSRP, which is 167,795 bucks. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna title this video, but I can tell you guys, this is a Ferrari for $167,000. A brand new, think of, think of this, and I know many other people have said this, but it literally is a brand new Ferrari 458 for $167,000. You can't even pick up a used like 2013 458 for that price. Um, obviously this is MSRP. Good luck finding one for MSRP. Shout out to Ted Britt. They really hooked uh, Richard up, gave him a great deal. So if you guys are interested in buying or ordering a new Corvette C8 Z06, make sure you guys hit up Ted Britt Chevrolet of Sterling, Virginia. Um, they will hook you guys up with a great deal. Now, uh, you guys can see, the horsepower or the uh, fuel economy is absolutely abysmal, but let's go over why the Z06 is so special. So it does get a five and a half liter flat plane crank V8 that makes 670 horsepower and 460 pound feet of torque. Obviously it's made it to an eight speed dual clutch transmission for a zero to 60 time in a blistering 2.6 seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, which who really gives a crap? Um, you can achieve 12 miles per gallon in the city, 19 miles per gallon on the highway for 14 miles per gallon combined. The reason I wanted to mention that in the video is because on the MSRP sticker, or on the window sticker, you guys pay a $3,000 gas guzzler tax and it is literally listed under the options and pricing. So this is the standard equipment. Go over to here, you look at the 3,000 bucks, you're like, what? I didn't even choose a $3,000 option. Well, the federal government did and that is your gas guzzler their tax on the C8 Z06. So obviously abysmal fuel economy. If you're getting a car like this, I don't think you really care about fuel economy, but what I'm gonna do is give you guys a couple revs. All right, that is in tour. We're gonna go into track. Now this is track mode. It's got a soft limiter, so it's not gonna let me rev up past 3000 RPM, but you guys get the idea. It sounds fantastic. It sounds literally exactly like a Ferrari. And one thing I wanted to mention before we get into the drive is that I was watching a couple videos on YouTube just of the sound of the C8 Z06 and I'm like, oh, man, that really just sounds kind of odd. And then I got in it, I'm driving it and I'm like, okay, it sounds really good. And it sounds literally exactly like a Ferrari 458. I mean, not exactly, but very, very similar. And this thing with an exhaust, be insane but I don't want to talk your guys' ears off anymore. I do want to get into the drive. So let's get into the driving portion of the video. All right, so we have the key. This is what the key looks like if you guys were wondering. So we're going to remote start it because why not? You can. So lock it, press this button twice. And 
that is what it sounds like now let's get into the interior I'll show you guys what it's like this as if this was your own stepping in you have your z06 door sill and uh, i could definitely step in and out of one of these every single day so let's see what it's like obviously just like any other gm vehicle just make sure you have your key fob in the interior after you remote start it and uh, just push your foot on the brake and push to start and now the infotainment is on as is the uh, gauge cluster so now we're ready to go for a drive all right so normally i start my videos here and we go about five miles an hour over these speed bumps but because we're in a z06 i don't know if we can go about five we'll go about three how about that and then uh, we'll rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 because uh, it's a Z06. It has its own rating scale. And I feel like the more videos that I do with cars like this, uh, they will have their own scale. So let's see. For a Z06, we'll go, actually, maybe we'll go about 5. We're going to give this thing a 9 out of 10 on a scale of 1 to 10 because it's a Z06. And uh, it actually took those bumps surprisingly well. And I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to hear me over the exhaust note, but I think you guys would rather hear the exhaust note than my voice. Um, so we're going to take a little right here. DCT, the dual clutch in this thing, works fantastic. I mean, come on. One thing I will say about this thing is that it actually cruises very well. I mean, obviously right now we're in track mode, so we're in like the full kill mode. So it's gonna be riding in its most intense suspension mode. Uh, but listen, watch these different uh, paddle shifter responses. Upshift. I mean, it is instantaneous. It upshifts as soon as you click the paddle. Now I'm gonna throw it into tour mode because I wanted to show you guys I'm gonna throw it into tour. I'm gonna to put it back into drive auto. And now it's just cruising like a regular cruiser. So this is now a GT car. It's not so much an all out track car. So you can have it do both. So right now, again, I'm not shifting the transmission. We're going slow and uh, it's just cruising. We're just chilling. Still shifts very quickly for a DCT or obviously for an automatic transmission. So I really like the C8 in the fact that it cruises very well, um, even if you're not ripping it, you know what I mean? And another thing I wanted to say is that with this being the Z06, it definitely gets more looks, I believe. And uh, maybe I'm just, you know, not used to being in a vehicle like this that often, but it definitely gets looks like no question but even in tour mode you guys can see that it downshifts relatively uh ag not aggressively but it definitely downshifts um you know more than you know a regular car would like i was just in a challenger super stock the other day obviously you know that is you know there's the hellcat there's the red eye and then there's the super stock which is basically a demon minus some of the uh demon parts i guess you could say like the trans brake and stuff like that uh, but the demon when you're coming up to a stop it would not downshift like that or not the demon excuse me the super stock would not downshift like that just did um so i mean it cruises great but it definitely still because it's the z06 it has the performance tuned transmission so it's definitely like gearing us down even in tour mode like i said i'm in tour mode right now and uh it's shifting down shifting as we come to a stop so this thing cruises very nice like right now i feel like i'm in you know a total gt car obviously you know the insulation from the outside world probably isn't the greatest as compared to you know like a sedan or something like that but you know this is a z06 so uh let's go back into z06 mode right now we're gonna go back into sport now we're in track the back window down so with the convertible like I mentioned to you guys you guys get this back window here and you do not get that back window there with the coupe so that is something that might sway me into getting the convertible as opposed to the coupe 
just because of that back window that gives you the additional sound obviously that I want and I'm sure it's giving the additional sound that most car enthusiasts would want so take a listen are so so crisp and right now I'm gonna overlay a video of me doing you know a relatively aggressive 0 to 60 it wasn't a launch control uh, but it was kind of like a roll on 0 to 60 so let's get into that now all right we're lined up on our line we're gonna do a 0 to 60 test I'm not gonna launch it but we're gonna do a little something something so here we go So as you guys saw, this thing really starts to rip once you get it up over about 4,000 RPM. That's really when this thing starts to make some legit power. Now I'm gonna show you guys a relatively aggressive acceleration. All right, now we're just gonna do a regular, uh, you know, mild acceleration. Nothing crazy, but something. So as you guys saw in that video, you can still have a lot of fun with it, even if you're not going, you know, balls to the wall with it, which is something that I personally really appreciate about the Z06. Now, one thing I did notice about the carbon ceramics is that when you come to a stop, you kind of have to push your foot further on the brake than you would honestly expect um, to hold it in place like I was just you know I have a 2010 Camaro so I was putting about the same amount of pressure that I would apply in that car to hold it in place at a stop um, to this car and I, it still was creeping forward a little bit so yes you definitely have to apply a little bit more pressure with the ceramics let's do a little couple downshifts So uh, just something that I thought I'd point out for those of you guys who are, you know, looking to buy one of these. Once you get it to about 3,750 RPMs, that's when it starts sounding like a Ferrari. So this thing is a blast to drive. And if this was my car, which maybe, who knows, maybe one day I'll be able to buy one of these things myself. But as of right now, I just wanted to extend another huge thank you to Richard for allowing me to do a video with his Z06. Again, I will list his Instagram on screen at DixZ06. Also, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, see the behind the scenes of what goes into, you know, having a YouTube channel and stuff like that, you guys might wanna follow me on Instagram as well, at 703speed. You guys will see, again, the behind the scenes of what it really takes to run a YouTube channel because I don't think uh, people really understand that it's actually a lot more work than you would expect it to be. Um, but again, this thing rides phenomenally well. I, one for one, um, wasn't sure how I felt about the square wheel, but now that I've driven a base C8 and now that I've driven a Z06, it just works, you know what I mean? Um, overall, great driving vehicle from, you know, ripping it balls to the wall to just cruising in tour mode. This thing can do it all. Overall, fantastic vehicle. Uh, definitely loved my time behind the wheel. If there's anybody who lives in the DC, Maryland, and or Virginia area who has a cool car like this and you guys want me to do a video with it, feel free to DM me on Instagram again at 703 speed. But that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to hit 
10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help. Also, I'm really trying to buy myself in the long term a 991.1 GT3 RS and I would really appreciate you guys helping me get to that goal. So literally all you guys have to do to help me is like, subscribe, and potentially share this video if that is something that you guys want to do. If you guys enjoyed the video, share it and I would greatly appreciate it. But again, that's it for today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.